Today, I am joined by Manny Agwek, who is a new player for the Central Coast Mariners in the A-League. Thank you so much for joining me today, Manny. Yeah, it's all right. It's good to be here. We'll start with an easy question and a basic one that I like to ask everybody. Just where did your love and passion for football first begin? Oh, for me, honestly, it began because I originally came from, like I wasn't born here, so I was born in South Sudan. And then when I was one years old, we moved straight to Egypt. And then straight from there, I came here when I was four. So we came to Australia in 2004. So, yeah, when I was like around five-ish, my brothers finally joined the football club. I have three older brothers. They they started off their football career early back in Sunshine, so it's in Victoria. And then, yeah, I used to always just go down and watch them. And then I was always my dad just kicking the ball. And then, like, yeah, so that's when I picked it up and said, no, nah, I want to be a soccer player when I was like four years old. And when you were a kid, um, did you have any football idols aside from your brother? Like, who did you like to watch on TV and look up to? Back then, um, the Brazilian Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. So, yeah, because when the World Cup used to come on, I always used to just support like, the Brazil. Obviously, when Australia doesn't do well, so I always go to Brazil. His favourite win. Well, those are some pretty good choices. But on to your uh, football career. Your first taste of uh, men's senior football really come with South Melbourne, which is a pretty big club in the NPL, which, you know, by all accounts is quite a tough competition. So when you first started playing for South Melbourne, did you find that the NPL lived up to its reputation of being tough? Yeah, no, the NPL won in Victoria. It's very tough, yeah. You find some quality players, ex-A-League players, yeah, like, you know, so it's very tough, yeah. It's, like, very competitive. Find older players, experienced players. So, like, a young player like me, when I first got my debut, it was like, whoa, it's just, like, as crazy as, like, you know, as every other debut I had as well. Yeah. Did you find there was much pressure at all considering South Melbourne, um, even though it's not in the top flight anymore, it's a pretty historic club with a big following. So when you first started playing, did you find there was any pressure on you or were you just pretty comfortable with it? Oh, there is a bit of pressure. Like, obviously, the fans are always there. Like, the club has big expectations, as you said. So, like, you know, every game they want to win, like, you know. So, like, yeah, so it was a bit of pressure. But at the same time, like, I didn't put that much pressure on myself. I just told myself, yeah, just go out there, just enjoy, do whatever you can. And on to Western United now. Uh, just firstly, how did that move to Western United come about? Oh, it came about because... um. I remember, yeah, so I left South Melbourne and I was originally going to go sign with Kingston, but obviously that didn't work out. And then I was signed for Preston, which I played like the FA Cup and then the Corona season happened. So then, yeah, so then after that happened and then I was going to join Avondale this season. So I was going to play for Avondale, um, obviously, which is a top club as well in MPL. And then while I was there, so I was about to, like, you know, like finalise my choice. And then that's when Western United came in. And then they told me, oh, we'll give you a trial from one of my old coaches, Vaughan Coveney, which I had in my George Cross. And told me, I'll oh, come down, we'll give you a trial, and just do your best. And then, yeah, so I got accepted. And then, yeah, that's when I decided to speak to my agents. And I was like, oh, what should we do? Because this is a top NPL team. And then this is a, you know, an A-League team with good youth, you know, opportunity to play A-League. So then like, it came down to me and I had to choose. And I obviously chose A-League because it's just like one step away. So then I just told myself I'll go there and then just put my head down. I've got the six months, whatever I can do, and just try my best. If I make it, I make it, you know. And yeah, it turned out well. It did turn out well. Um, while you were playing in the Western United youth team, you were scoring goals for fun. I think you scored pretty much a goal every single match. So what do you think was behind your incredible form during your time at Western United? Well, obviously it's because the club's got a big name, and just because oh. We'll get looked at youth players. Like, you know, I always told myself, just because you're a youth player, you can go from being a youth player today and tomorrow can go into being a first-team player. So then that's why I always never, you know, put my foot off the gas, just kept going and just made sure, just keep putting pressure, obviously, in the A-League boys and, like, well, like, everyone, like, you know, that I'm capable to play there. Like, you know, I want to be there just because I'm a youth player. Yes, I like, know I'm grateful. I'll do whatever I can here. But my goal is to be there. So that's why every game just made sure I can get a goal, do something for the team. But also just in the league too, you know, for the and yeah, it was good. And you made a couple of matches, uh, appearances, sorry, for the first team in the A-League. So for your very first match, your debut, what was that moment like 
What do you remember about that match? And personally, how do you think you went during that match? Yeah, nah, that match was, it was different because like, I, just, cause I just got the call from the club saying, oh, hey, tomorrow you're going to come down to Sydney. You're going to play this week um, and make it um, like play this week, like, you know? And yeah, it was just like, well, like, I didn't expect that. It was just like out of nowhere. I haven't even trained with the first team at all the whole year. So this is like out of nowhere. You just get called in and I only had one session with the team and then the game straight away. So I was like a bit nervous, obviously, you know, and it was a lot to take in because I realised I'm going to be on TV, my family's going to be watching, my friends, and like everyone, there's like, there's no hiding. You're like on the big stage. So yeah, it's like a bit nerve wracking. There's a lot to take in, but like as soon as, like, you know, I came on to the pitch and I had my first touch, second touch, and I just like, Felt like another game, like, you know, it's just a normal game. The player, here's a nice story. Another debutant in the A League, Manny Aguek, young MPL player who loves running at players. I'm told. He's uh, came to Australia in 2004. He's played at some well-known clubs in Melbourne, like George Cross and South Melbourne as well. He scored some goals there. He's a Chelsea fan, so he's already had a good week. It's got even better right now with his A-League debut. And you're currently at the Central Coast Mariners who you just joined. So firstly, how are you just liking your time in the Mariners so far? Yeah, no, Mariners was really good. The way, like, the coaches, Monty, Serge, like, they're really good with youth players because they're obviously with the youth last season. Now they're first team coach. And, yeah, I'm, like, really starting to gel with the team, getting used to it. Like, you know, I'm at my fittest point now. Played a few games in the, um, with the 23s. So, like, just to get fit, match fit, you know, stay ready. Scored a few goals already. So, no, it's good. Like, and the feedback I'm getting from them and, like, you know, how they, like, wanted me to be ready. And when I'm ready, you know, my time will come. So, which is good. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And it's a bit different from Melbourne, obviously, because here it's, like, quiet. It's more, like, you know, the coast. There's, like, more rain, more sunshine. There's a lot of beaches, lakes around. So, it's different. A lot of trees, yeah. So, at the Mariners, there's a couple of very good strikers. Matt Simon, Marcos Urenia. And at Western United, of course, Bessart Barisha was there during your time, who's the greatest striker in A-League history. So, for you being a forward player... What sort of lessons and tips have you been taking off these guys during training? You know, what sort of things are they teaching you? Yeah, like with Marco, he's taught me, like, because he said he likes my run in behind, stuff like that. So he's teaching me how to, like, use it more, like, come in and get out and, like, you know, like, front post runs and back post runs and, like, you know, stuff like that, like, off, off the ball movement, which apply a lot. Because if I get the ball, then I'm in a position to score for myself. If I don't get the ball, I just create a space for someone else to, like, you know, um, come and finish. And then with Simo, he's taught me how to, like, when you're inside the box, like, you know, what sort of finishes you should do inside the last or which place is good to put power or which place is good to place the ball. Like, you know, not like not to rush, can't be calm when you're finishing because, like, you know, the goal doesn't move just because of what and just finish. So, yeah, I've learned a lot from them too. But really, I didn't have um, much experience with um, Bursa Barisha because when I was there, I didn't train with him. And then, like, when I came, he obviously was injured. So, like, yeah, I didn't get much information off him. But, like, just watching him, like, when he plays, you still learn a lot. Like, you know, how so good in the air with his headers and stuff like that. So, like, you know, I try to bring that into my game as well. So, yeah, it's good. So, for any Central Coast Mariners fans watching this video right now, you've obviously recently joined the club. So, they haven't really got too much of a chance to see you on the pitch. So... What do you think Mariners fans can expect to see from you? What are you hoping to bring? Well, you're going to be expecting a lot of goals and celebrations from me. So, yeah. <laughs> do you have any sort of trademark celebrations you're going to whip out? Oh, no, nah, not yet. I'm working on that, but yeah, there'll be a few. <laughs> and 2021 is coming towards a close, but it's been a pretty big year for you personally. So for 2022, what are you hoping to achieve and, like, what can we expect to see from many Agwek? Yeah, from 2022, yeah, a lot of more experience. I mean, appearances in the A-League, so a lot more games. And like I said, a lot of goals as well. Like, you know, I have a goal. I want 10 goals, hopefully. So, but, yeah, for now, it's just to get the um, appearances to come, 
a lot of minutes to come. So yeah, and then when that's happening, a lot of goals, and then yeah, just hopefully finish off a good season with the Mariners, finish in the top six, hopefully win the FFA Cup as well. So yeah. Well, hopefully some of those things come true for you. Um, but thank you so much for joining me today, Manny. It's been an absolute pleasure. All right. It was a pleasure. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Arrow Sport. Go to the link in the description and the friendly team at Arrow Sport will help you create your own football dream jersey. Whether it's starting from scratch or using one of their many templates on their website, creating a jersey with Arrow Sports is easy and prices start from just $50. Go to www.arrowsport.com.au and make your football kit dreams become a reality.